I'm your host Gavin, and welcome back to the next episode of Open Window Hidden Record, where I keep it transparent. It's where I travel to different local shops, looking for cheap hidden records, buying them, and reviewing them. On this lovely journey, we are on the way to Stony Point Mall, located west of Richmond, Virginia. It is also known as Stony Point Fashion Park, which holds a wide range of stores such as Tiffany & Co., Cinebistro, and other places, including this nice doggo. In Stony Point Mall, there is one store in particular that we're here for. It's one of the coolest record stores I know of. It's Crossroads Records. Crossroads is an independent record store focused on new and used records, including LPs, 12-inch singles, and 45s. Crossroads also stocks lots, and I mean a whole lot, of cassettes, new and old CDs, t-shirts, lots of home decoration and tchotchke items, along with new and vintage equipment including turntables such as these two record crates I got from Crossroads. But we are, of course, focusing on the records. Towards the back of the store, there are rows and rows of records. One of the rows is a collection of budget records. There's also two back rows of sales records. Starting to look through some vinyls, I looked through quite a few of the sale records, and I didn't find anything I was too interested in. Walking down one of the other rows, I was just trying to see if there was something that was intriguing. Bright vibrant colors and lovely water pastels catch my eye. I thought surely, how can it be the first one in the row? But I always go with my gut, and this one just had to be it. I mean, look at this little man. There's even more on the back. But what is this record? This album is by one of the most unique jazz guitarists out there, Steve Kahn, and the name of the album is fittingly named The Blue Man. With fluid and groovy instrumentals, the cover art does its justice in visually describing how the music feels, cool and calm, with warm tones showcased by the instrumentals. Something you can groove to, but also relax, like this little man. The album was released in 1978 under the label Columbia. The genre is jazz with funk and soul, but the main style that's played is jazz slash funk. To start with initial impressions, the cover art is really what got me for this album. The art is done by the award-winning artist Paula Scher. To make this cover art, she used watercolor and other fun graphic design elements. For the sleeve and record itself, it is a plain white sleeve and a standard black record. But now, what does the record sound like? To start off this review, Steve Kahn's guitar playing is just insane. It is remarkable how beautiful and how different his guitar playing is to pretty much anything else I've heard. He somehow blends in psychedelic elements of how the reverb of the guitar ties in with how the jazz is being played and it's really beautiful. The sound staging throughout this album is just fantastic. There is a few moments where some instrumentals are panned to one side just to show off that guitar part in that part of the song. One of my personal favorite songs off of the album, which is also named after the album, is The Blue Man. The opening of the song is just beautiful and atmospheric and it is really well paced and it slowly then progresses and then it all of a sudden kicks in, inviting the guitar, which then plays some really great licks. Although this album is only 6 tracks long, it is 38 minutes long. 
making all the songs pretty extensive. The longest song off the album is the final track, which is An Eye Over Autumn. Say that three times fast. Percussively in the song, Some Downtime, it's really interesting. There are some really great cowbell elements that I didn't quite expect, but the percussive elements are just really unique and fun to listen to. Although all of the songs off of the album were enjoyable, there were a few times where I was listening to a song and I kind of got lost. Because of the length of the songs, it just kind of melded together, and so I did enjoy some specific moments. Those moments got muddled away because of all of the extra time that was on the song. For finding this album, I was just really happy to find something new. The cover art is probably one of my favorite I've ever seen. Just that little blue guy is just so cute. But for an overall rating of the album, I have to give it a good. I feel like it could have been really good or great, but it just, but it didn't really quite get to exactly what I wanted to hear from it. For this album as a whole, I'm just really happy to have this in my collection. It is a great piece of work. The instrumentals are fun to listen to and it is great for if I want some instrumental music while I'm doing work or just lounging and enjoying the morning. Although this album is called The Blue Man, I couldn't help but feel warm inside. And it really brought me joy discovering this new jazz album. And I would highly encourage you to go out and look out there for yourself. But it's been your host, Gavin. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, like, and share.